Well, let's suppose it's time to change your oil. Some of you don't know how to do it, so we're going to go ahead and show you. First thing you're going to need is a drain pan, an oil filter, and a wrench to get the drain pan plug loose, a rag, and if you if you can't get underneath your vehicle, you'll need to jack it up, put it on jack stands securely. In this case, I'm doing a Chevy truck, so I can slide up under there with just a piece of cardboard. Now I'll let you in on a trick that I use that allows the oil to drain a little easier is remove the oil fill cap before you drain the oil. Position your drain pan below the drain plug but not so far because it will spew out so you want to pull it back at a good distance before you remove the drain plug I like to replace the filter and you can use a filter wrench if you need to or just grab hold of it and see if it'll come loose since I was the last one to install the filter I know I didn't put it on there so tight that I can't take it off you can use the rag to give you a little extra grip Get it loose, spin it a little bit, let the oil drain. Once the oil drains pretty good, then you can just go ahead and remove the filter. And some extra oil is going to splash out on you. You can use rubber gloves if you don't want to get the oil on your hands, that's okay. I don't mind getting a little dirty. Just go ahead and let that go into the old drain pan. Now you see why the rag comes in handy. Something I like to do is take just a, a little bit of oil. Let's see what I can show you here. And just rub it around the edge of your filter. This will keep it from sticking. Once you get it on there, then you can just go ahead and put your oil filter on. It shouldn't be hard to start. If it is, it's not going on right. Just spin it on. And again, there's no reason to put a wrench on it. Just tighten it as tight as you can by hand. And that's good enough. And you can move on to removing your oil drain plug. So let's grab our wrench. Now I did loosen it a little bit beforehand. It didn't come loose that easy. But for demonstration. And on the Chevys you can take the take it out almost all the way before it starts dripping on the Fords and some of the other imports it'll start dripping right away so you gotta make sure your pans are underneath there and back far enough that when it comes spewing out it doesn't go all over the place just like so then you want to go ahead and let it drain so it's just barely dripping once it gets down to where it's just dripping, then you go ahead and install the plug back. Same way you took it off. It shouldn't be hard to go in. Put your wrench back on it. Snug it up. Again, you don't have to over tighten it. There's no pressure on it. And we're done on the bottom side. If you had anything drip or get anything on you can wipe it off you don't want any oil dripping on the bottom of your filter if there's anything if you're doing it for a customer you really don't want anything dripping and we can go ahead and move up 
remove our oil pan and everything, go up and put some oil in this thing. Some people wonder what you're supposed to do with the old oil. You can pour it back into the quarts that you pour in or some empty milk jugs and take it to your local parts place and they'll take the oil and dispose of it for you. Some people in their shops use it for fuel oil. Uh, either way is just fine. If you're not sure what kind of oil to use, you can refer to your owner's manual. Some of them are listed right on the cap. So this calls for 30 weight oil. So we'll make sure to put that back in there. And I'm not really good at not spilling the oil all over. If you're better at it, that's great. Go ahead. I like to use a, a nice open mouth funnel. And you can start by putting a couple of quarts in and then check the level on a dipstick. Or if you have an idea, I know that this engine takes six and a half quarts. So what I like to do is just put six quarts in, start the engine so that it fills the oil filter, and then check the level and go from there. And you don't have to be shy about it, just pour the oil right in. And continue till you get her as many quarts in there as you think you need to before you check it. If this is a four cylinder engine, you'll only want to put about three quarts in it, then check it. Most of them don't hold more than four. But always refer to your owner's manual if you have one. If you don't, you can get a free copy of it on freeautomechanic.com. Just search owner's manuals and it'll pop right up for you. And there'll be links for you to get to it for free. Some people wonder, is there any oil better than others? Well, if you look, on just about every single container of oil you'll see that it's SAE certified in that manner the oil is good enough for your car synthetic is a better oil it lasts a little longer but any any fresh new oil is better than the old oil that was in there we've got our six quarts in so I'm gonna start the engine you can see that our oil pressure gauge you can pay attention to that takes a couple of seconds and then you see it jumps right back up and it takes a couple of seconds because the oil filter was empty when we first put it on but it feels so fast that it doesn't do any actual harm to the engine so we'll go ahead and shut it off and then we'll check the oil level on the dipstick the red stick is going to be for your transmission fluid the yellow is going to be for your engine I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And we'll go ahead and clean the oil off the end of it with your rag. And for those that haven't ever used one or paid much attention to it, you'll see that it's got these dots on there. And hash marks this is your safe zone so when you first when you fill it up and you're done it should be right up to this top one and anytime that you're driving it and you check it it can be anywhere inside these dots and you're not causing any harm to your engine so go ahead and stick that back in You want to make sure that you get it all the way down and then pull it back out and then we'll look at our level and you can see it's almost to the very top so I could let it go but I know it holds a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and top it off to the top mark Pull it back out. Now you see the oil levels all the way up to the top hole, so that's good. Now one of the most important things not to forget is put your oil fill cap back on. 
You don't want to lose it. You don't want oil splashing everywhere. So now we're good. Now we'll reset our oil light. If you have one. Not everybody has one. Start it up. The engine oil fill light. And if you've got a return button like this one does, just push and hold it for about five seconds. And flash the engine oil change and oil life reset. You can continue to hold and wait or just let off. And there you go. Oil life 100%. Thanks for watching. Visit us at freeautomechanic.com for more automotive advice. Thanks.